Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is array? The remove and remove index nodes. I've gone ahead, created this quick little example. Let's cover these nodes and see what we might use them for. So first thing, the remove node. Even though it says remove here, if you're looking for it, it's actually going to be the remove item node. So that's something to keep in mind. When you first create the node, it's going to be the wildcard version of the node. So it's not going to have any types of inputs, and it's not going to have a direct input box. If we were to drag in our int array, it's going to allow an input of an int. Our object array, it's going to allow an input of an object. One thing to keep in mind to make things simpler is if you drag off, especially for objects or classes, and you do your node, when you create it, it knows the type and it's going to create an easier direct entry. So in this case, our object array will allow us to actually select an object instead of having to put in an input. So let's go ahead and use that version and make it simple. So here's my object array. In here I have a box, nothing, a box, nothing, and let's move this last one into a auto grid master item. So there we go. So I have five items in here, two boxes, two nuns, and an auto grid master. Now if I'm to run this array through remove and tell it to remove the box, it's going to go ahead and remove all of the boxes inside of that array. Now it's not going to return a new array, it's going to adjust the original array. So keep that in mind. If you are directly manipulating your array in a loop, you're not doing it right. You don't want to do that. That's going to mess up the indexes of your loop and you're going to cause problems. So if you're using a loop and you're going to be altering the array, create a copy of the array first, work on the altered copy, and then you can go ahead and replace the original with your altered copy. So keep that in mind. So running through our example, we're starting off with this. 100 box, none, 100 box, none, and auto UV grid master. When we run it, we have our print string here to pause, and we look, our array is now none, none, and then our auto UV grid master. The two instances of our box are now removed. Our in array has been now re reduced down to three instead of five, and that is our new value. Now it outputs a boolean of whether or not it was true or false if it was able to remove something. So when I remove, we're going to see true because we were able to remove something successfully. If I change this to something else like this and I hit run, if we look at our array, it's going to be the same as before, five entries. And if we resume, we're going to get back a false because we didn't actually remove anything. So that is the remove item node. Now the remove index is pretty much the same, but instead of specifying an item, you specify the index that you want removed. So in this case, item at the 100 box at index 0 is going to be removed because I'm telling it to remove index 0. If we run this and we look at our new array, we're going to find we now have our 0 index as none and we only have one box inside of our array. We're down to four values. So that is what the remove index is for. You want to make sure it's always within a valid. If you go and remove 8 for example and we hit play, well, you're going to find nothing happens. It does have a bounds check, and if we resume, it says hello because there is no true or false. It's simply going to remove that index if you have one, and then remove any values after it up, and basically make your entire array smaller. So that's it. Those are remove and re remove item and remove index nodes. They're useful if, for example, you're keeping an array of enemies. You've destroyed one, and now you need to remove the one you've destroyed so you no longer keep track of it. Or you're using object pooling, and you have 100 bullets, and you now shot one, so you need to remove that from your object pool. And that's, that's it. Those are what our remove nodes do. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.